From their humble beginnings to their complex nature, video games have always been a big part of people's lives, from sports to simulation. Some video games have been extremely influential, others have not. None more influential than Grand Theft Auto. GTA was born from a glitch in another Rockstar video game, which made the police excessively brutal. There are seven GTAs. One, two, three, Vice City, San Andreas, four, and five. The most well-known are San Andreas and five. It is funny that they're the most well-known since they're the most alike. So let's see how much alike they are and which one's more influential. GTA San Andreas was released on October 26, 2004 on the PlayStation 2. It takes place in San Andreas, which is a fictional state which is made to represent California. More specifically, it takes place in Los Santos, which is Los Angeles, San Fierro, which is San Francisco, and Los Venturas, which is Las Vegas. Unlike the other Grand Theft Autos which take place in the modern world, this one takes place in 1992. GTA is meant to be a spoof on American society, which takes our way of life to the extreme. None does this better than GTA San Andreas. One of the officers you meet at the beginning of the game is named Officer Tenpenny. He is a corrupt, brutal official, which steals your money and throws you on the side of the road at the very beginning of the game. Towards the end of the game he is arrested, but he is found not guilty on his charges for lack of evidence. And what ensues across Los Santos is mass rioting and murder. These are real events which did take place in Los Angeles in 1992, when five officers were acquitted of brutalizing a black man, mass rioting ensued, and the deaths of many people happened. You play as a man named Coral Johnson, who has just returned to Los Santos after the death of his mother. You belong to the Grove Street Gang, and you soon get caught up in the gang-to-gang -gang violence going on in Los Santos. GTA is a game of many emotions. It can make you feel sad, it can make you feel happy, or it can make you feel angry, and maybe even make you laugh. Can I take your order, please? Carl, what do you want? You gotta eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like he is. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, Two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. When San Andreas was released, it was released to critical acclaim, receiving a 93 out of 100 on Metacritic, a 9.6 out of 10 on GameSpot, and a 10 out of 10 on PlayStation Magazine. It received PlayStation 2 Best Game of the Year, Best Game of the Year of 2004, Best Action Adventure Game, and Best Soundtrack. GTA San Andreas sold, sold 27.5 million copies as of 2011. GTA 5 was released on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 on September 17, 2013, re-released on PS4 and Xbox One on November 18, 2014 and finally released on Microsoft Windows on April 14, 2015. Just like San Andreas, GTA 5 takes place in San Andreas and Los Santos. However, it does not take place in San Fierro or San Venturas. In GTA 5, you play as three distinct characters. Franklin, who is a young black male not living far from Grove Street. Michael, who is an old retired criminal. And Trevor, just an all-around crazy psychopath. GTA 5 was also released to critical acclaim, making $1 billion in 3 days and $800 million in 24 hours. It received 97 out of 100 on Metacritic, the 5th highest rated game on the website. It received a 9.7 on Game Informer, IGN gave it a 10 out of 10, and Eurogamer gave it a 9 out of 10. It had received multiple awards, most anticipated game award, named best Xbox game by IGN, 
Nin Best Multi-Platform Game, Platinum Award at the PlayStation Awards, Best Action Game Overall, Best Game in Britain, and overall just an amazing game. So, which one has been more influential? Who cares, they're both great games. Now let's all hold hands, huh?